Okay, how to make this corner glass window like this. It's quite tricky and I've done it several times and I, I have to admit it is quite tricky but I'm just going to show you how I do it and hopefully it's not too hard and I will put the model into my model library and you can download it from github so this is my github page here the Sean was here YouTube Sweet Home 3D Furniture Library I'll put a link in the description anyway let's get on to that I'll show you how to create that first I'm going to use blender open blender I'm going to create a window as quick as I can. I'm going to use this default cube that's already there. Just going to just adjust the, the the size of it. So size X. I think I'll do that. That's good enough. Size Y and size Z. That seems to be a pretty good shape. Let's just make it a bit thinner. Okay, it's a bit more like a pane of glass. Radio the if I go into orthographic, press seven, press tab to go into edit mode, press A to deselect everything, press B to box select. I want to look at these two points down here. Press full step stop to get into it, zoom into it. Now, I want to make this into a 45 degree angle, so I'm going to do that nice and quick. Deselect, and uh, actually, first, I'm going to just adjust the width so that it kind of sits on these guidelines. So, size X. That's pretty good size y okay so i've got some guidelines to help me there now go back into edit mode by pressing tab so now i want to just select all the points in that region top and bottom so i need to press that b again there we go got them now that's the top and the bottom of the glass 45 degrees is about there that's good now I'm going to extrude that sideways so I'm going to extrude these two points so box select E to extrude let's just uh, move that up and just a, a, a to deselect B to select that point Uh, whatever uh, let's go have a look at the other one press a press b and just slide that across so zoom in okay whatever let's just zoom slide that down b to box select now i want to drag that all the way to something that looks about the same size Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna use ten boxes. In Blender, each of these boxes is one square meter. One, one, two, three, four, five. Well, I'll adjust that later. Anyway, let's select. Uh, let's press Tab to get out of edit mode, back in object mode. Now I'm gonna put the the central point of this this corner window up here to zero zero so I'm just going to slide that up it's very good press full stop let's just slide that and now go into edit mode just to maybe adjust these points again A to deselect B Bring that down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whoops. Ten. That's good. 
let's go back into object mode and that is a my corner window that I'm going to just drag into Sweet Home 3D and use that you may want to make something a bit more fancy but I'm just going to keep that nice and simple uh, what I forgot to do was set the transparency so I'm going to do that right now as well so with the model selected I'll go into the material view click transparency and set alpha to 0.25 there we go that behaves more like a transparent window export that again export wave font obj corner window export cool let's go into sweet homes 3d now i'm gonna drag that new model corner window into this models area that one there the o sorry that one there corner window obj drag and drop that's it continue continue select door or window i'm going to make it a, put in the doors and windows section continue and finish let's just delete the one that i had earlier to, so we don't confuse so what i've got is this uh, building with four walls it's very very basic with some cars in it and I want this side this corner here to be transparent well I want it to be a corner window so let's go to find this corner window I created there it is here drag and drop now note how it just attaches like a normal window and it's quite small as well it doesn't matter we're gonna resize that now I don't think Sweet Home 3D was really meant for this, but this is a bit of a trick that I've discovered so that we can use this corner window properly. And I'm just going to adjust the height. Is it that one? Yep. Okay. Now, see this square here? This doesn't always work either. It's quite a fidgety thing, but if I put that square down to this corner sometimes I can drag it up as well but if it doesn't work first time just rotate it like that Tr try that uh, try that again and it if you drag it it now wants to go that way doesn't matter we can use the arrow key to slide it up I can't tell you the exact way to do that if you try that you'll discover it's quite fidgety and it doesn't always work but this time it seems to be okay it seems to be a bit of a trick you can do with Sweet Home 3D excellent so there we go we've got a corner window and the glass has a line there I think I can get rid of that if I just adjust there we go adjust it a pixel at a time there we go that's a corner window now i want that corner window to be bigger i think i should be able to just slide that yep but if i want to make that bigger that side that's when it gets tricky oh, i drag that down a bit and then just use the arrow keys again okay that's a bit of a sweet home 3d trick i've showed you or shown you and th uh, th once again that model i'll put in my model library that you can download from github uh, so make that bigger uh, one of the problems you get is that you can no longer see the objects behind the window in this top-down view I don't know how to fix that 
but I like once again I don't think Sweet Home 3D was really meant to do that but but with this little trick you can make it have a corner window like that okay thanks for watching like comment and subscribe and share